Good evening, people. My name is Detroit Miracle, and I want you to listen to my public service announcement. Yes, indeed. And I am talking to all of you of society. Yeah, I don't just simply mean a couple of thousand. I mean, in fact, billions of people. Look, people, you as a whole are the ones that determine the supply and the demand for every single thing that happens and goes on. All of you are the ones that approve of that. All of you are the ones that make the demand for that. Such as in the case, some people will say, Wow, crime is so bad, it's terrible, drugs are everywhere, there are so much drugs being shipped all over the place, so many drugs being produced, there are so many people on the drugs, oh, how can it be, this is terrible, why don't the law enforcement communities do anything about it, and that's because they can't, and the reason why is because the supply and the demand is much bigger and colossal than anything that any type of uh, organization lawful can deal with. Yeah, even if you have a million cops, a million judges, a million lawyers, a, a million prisons, if the demand for something is just so astronomically vast, then the people want it, so the people are going to get it, no matter what the case may be regarding those that say it's illegal and those that fight against it. Yeah, people, you folks out there make the demand for everything, good and bad. You have to realize that. So it's not just an issue that you just can do away with, and that goes for any type of bad thing that's criminal or otherwise immoral. Like if it's a demand for it and it's so great, you know, if it's, let's get to another issue that involves things that are not pertaining to monetarily or money. Like people will like say that, they could justify hitting their spouses because, oh, if it wasn't for Eve that forced Adam to bite the apple, then mankind and humanity would not have had so much problematic throughout the centuries and millenniums. Like So um, people will use that as a justification reason. I know this is, it's a bit, you know, strange for me to use that as a, type of reason, but I've heard people say that, and look, Adam could have said no, he could have refused the apple, he had his own mind, right, and he he took head, and he was the chief figure of authority over that situation and his relationship, so he could have just said, give me this apple, you're not eating it anymore, and I'm not eating it either, so let's put it back down. That would have been the, the responsible, mature thing to do and a proper way to handle it. So I'm saying, besides me making these different points, if it's a demand for something, for somebody to do something, and if they have a reason to give for it, whether it's bad or not, they're going to do it and use it. So you have to attack the problem at its true source, and that's the people they make the demand for it. They have to be made to see reason and understand that in fact, they are the ones that create the very problem that they claim to want to do away with. Y'all know it's not all people that wants drugs around. It's not all people that make drugs. It's not all people that are on drugs and it's not all people that hit their spouses, but in large numbers of communities, 
which are enormous, they do create the demand and supply for these sort of things. And just say, I just named a couple of different things and there are so many more out there, but you get my meaning and you understand where I'm coming from. You know, it is it's crazy. <laughs> Another thing, and I've touched on this before, bad news. Yeah, people, I've made other videos where I mentioned bad news being spread all over the place. And look, people, you have to understand this. You people are the ones that want to watch the bad news. You are the people that create the demand for the bad news. And you people are the ones that are responsible for the bad news itself because people do things. Not all people do bad things. Not every person does bad things, but enough of bad people that are in the thousands and thousands to the point where they will create a lot of bad news. So if thousands of people are doing bad things out of the general population, then that makes a lot of bad news. And a lot of people that tune in to watch it and a lot of people that make the supply and the demand for the news to be created so that they can watch it. And it's about money too, because the networks are making billions of dollars off of it because people tune in to watch it. Then why would there be a type of interest in doing away with all of that? People, I'm not blaming you directly as individuals as a whole for being responsible for every single bad thing that happens. But I'm saying that in a way you all are, and I am too, because I am a part of the people. I am one of the people too. So we're all in it together. So we all have to understand that we all are responsible or we should have some responsibility or own up to our parts and the reasons why bad things happen. Yeah, people, we will take credit for good things that happen that pertain to us. So we must take credit for the bad things that happen, especially if it involves a collective number of people and persons and things. Yeah, and who is a part of it? <laughs> like, who are you? Who am I, right? Humanity, mankind, people, folks. You know, so you have to look at it like that. You know, just like, hey, if you stop watching these things, like there will not be such a supply and demand. If you stop buying drugs, there will not be such a supply and demand. If you quit drugs, there will not be such a supply and demand. And I mean that with everything else, such as gambling, playing a lottery, going to casinos, and so forth. I know no one wants to stop doing that because that would make life unbearable. <laughs> yeah. You get my meaning where I'm coming from and where I'm going to. I'm not trying to tell people what to do. I know because you are able and capable as adults to make your own decisions. I'm just pointing out the facts. You know, yeah, folks. Well, this goes, and this is the public service announcement this evening. So I'd appreciate it if you all will share this message, like this message, comment on this message, and please subscribe to my channel, Detroit Miracle, and peace out.